For years now, cochlear implants have been the magic bullet for children who can't hear. But the implants don't work for all kids. And that's why doctors at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, decided to try a procedure that had only been performed on adults on a three-year-old boy. Grayson Clamp doesn't know sound. And as Brian Moore shows us, the results of this experimental procedure are life-changing. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. <laughs> For the first time in his life, three-year-old Grayson Clamp is hearing his father's voice. Grayson, Hi. that's you. Born deaf, a breakthrough that's operation you. has opened up a world of promise Grayson. and sound. When they turned that thing on and it worked, he responded to that sound, it was like just a weight was lifted off of me because it was just a, a long road getting there. Nicole and Len Clamp adopted Grayson out of foster care, hoping to make a difference. He's a really smart little kid, and he's got a lot going on in that brain of his that he wants to get out and that he wants to tell us, and you can tell that, and he just hasn't really been able to. Grayson was born without the nerves that carry sound to the brain. In an experimental surgery at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, doctors implanted a device that collects and translates sound waves. Instantly, uh, he was able to uh, detect some sound. He detected his dad's voice. He was able to detect stimulation on the day uh, that we activated it. Grayson is the first American child to undergo a procedure that has already been proven and proven to change lives for adults who've spent a lifetime in silence. Oh, it's exciting. My God, I can hear myself. For grown-ups, it's an overwhelming experience. For little Grayson, it seems, just another adventure. Bird. It's not an immediate, oh, well, that's a bird, or that's my mom, or he doesn't know yet quite what to do with all of the sound. He's starting to make associations, but that takes place over time. What exactly Grayson is hearing right now, only Grayson knows for sure. But someday, his parents are hoping he'll be able to tell his own extraordinary story in his own words. Brian Moore, Global News, Washington.